Ah, yes. Hey, that's how it goes. Good morning, Mr. Show. Today on the show, we have just been sent this little care package from the guys from Little Fat Land. That's right, Little Fat Land. That weird sort of cidery, sort of winey sort of drink that comes in like a weird plastic bottle. Where you know, if guys are shopped to a party with one of them, like a 1.25 of the party juice. Fuck it. Anyways, um, they've got this new little social media campaign going on. It's been pretty cryptic lately, and they uh, reached out to me and sent me this little package. So let's just uh, open up and see what's in here. So, straight out of the bat, little, uh, little lovely note there. There's a hat. Little fat lamb, how do I look? Pretty fucking good. Pair of socks, because apparently that's the way to go now. There's no drink in there, because to be honest, I did open this already. Because I knew the drink in there, I put it in my fridge. So let's just uh, check it out. So what it is, little fat lamb. Alcoholic, hubbly, bubbly, hard, sour grape with guarana. This is coming in at 8%. There's 7.9 standard drinks in this little bottle. So there you go. It's plastic. There's been quite a little hype going on about it. They've been uh, reaching out to a few uh, people that do this sort of uh, caper. So let's just have a go. So you would have you would have heard about this one. You would have seen you know, all the other flavors. They've got like, that little ginger beer they've got. And there's always been a bit of a grey area as to what it is. But like I said before, someone rocks up to a party with one of these, you know they're there, there to party. So it's, it is hard sour grape with guarana. So <coughs> where is it made, first of all, Allsley? It's, it's uh, produced for United Distillers by Hawkesbury Brewing Company, Pacific Highway, Lisa Row, New South Wales. So that's... That way, somewhere. So let's just have a look. Look at the colour on that. Now, uh, here we go. It matches my hat. I even turned the purple light. Purple. Anyways. Holy dooly. That is not what I expected. That's actually pretty good. So, I review beers. I drink a lot of craft beers. This is really not my, um, not my, uh, Usual uh, cup of tea, but I mean they sent it to me, so let's have a go. That tastes like bubblegum. It's got that sour bite to it. It doesn't taste too 8 percent which is dangerous. It's got guarana in it. <coughs> it's Monday. Um, I've got school in the morning, so um, it's a brewed wine product. So there we go. That's good. It's bitey. It's got a bit of a sour, a sour taste to it. Got a bit of a zap to it. This could catch up to you and um, sneak up and blow your blow your head off. Now, I do. I did recently do a um, quite a popular video on the uh, grog grape um, and a few of them ones, and I did another grape sort of one. This sort of tastes a bit different. Like they sort of had like a weird dryness to it. This is more sweet. Now there's no. There's no like sugar free, there's no zero calories thing. This is just like a shut up and party sort of a drink. So um, if that's what you're looking for, go check them out. They've, they've just come out the other, maybe today. By the time you watch this, they'll be out. Go check them out, go get yourself a hat. That's your thing. It's worth a shot. Thanks for watching my Beer Show, where um, I'm really good at doing this. Anyways, send me some more drinks, anyone, and I'll drink them. Mine is, um, Purple Show.